Hi Scooby, welcome back to my channel, Queen of Holy Tree. It's your family sweet model, and today I have a reading for you guys. So, the overall energy for you guys, we have the Ace of Swords, the Six of Swords, and the Five of Cups, okay? And um, the Ten of Wands, alright? So, with these four cards, I see that um, maybe you have found out some type of truthful information. Okay, or you're about to receive some type of truth, okay? Um, maybe somebody regrets something here or miss somebody. But I feel like somebody is definitely going to be moving towards somebody that they feel all this type of regret about, okay? Or maybe just moving away from, you know, this energy of being, you know, burdened, okay? And, um, yeah, this energy of being burdened. You're moving away from that energy. Okay. Because maybe whatever this truth is, it was just too much for you to handle. And I feel like you feel sad about it. Maybe you had to move away or, you know, you know, get away from whatever that situation was. Because of that. Because of what it is that you found out. Okay. So we have. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. So in your past energy, we got the um, justice, okay? So there was definitely, you know, issues dealing with trust in the past, okay? Um, trying to balance some things out. Could have been dealing with some type of legal issue. Could have been dealing with a Libra. Clarify the justice. Yeah, so truthful communication. So there was definitely like some honesty, some messages that came to you um, via text messages or social media, you know, that I feel like you was able to trust. Okay, we have the Hierophant in the reverse. Um, so, I feel like he was left out in the cold about something, okay? Um, this could have been a financial matter, but I'm starting, I'm, pick, I'm thinking that um, you was left out in the cold about a situation about somebody giving a two in the past. I feel like you didn't know about a marriage or some type of legal situation that you was left out in the cold about like you didn't know. But somehow you got communication about it. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy, Taurus, Libra, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, somehow. Yeah, so whatever the news was that you found out, it really wasn't all that good um, with the page, I mean, with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. And we have the Empress. It could have been a father, somebody that was pregnant, um, a wife, a Libra. Libra keep coming up heavy. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, and then we have somebody working together in a situation here trying to collaborate. So, whatever this news was that you found out, I feel like it's about marriage or something legal. You could have found out that somebody was pregnant. Somebody could have got that co-worker pregnant. But whatever it was that you found out in the past, it just wasn't all that good. This could have been what this truthful communication was. Right here with this Ace of Swords that had you moving away and feeling sad about the situation because 
the shit was just too much for you to handle. And I see that, you know, you blocked everybody out. That caused you to block your heart off here. You feel me? That caused you to block your whole heart out. Like, block your emotions. Like, you, you cared about the situation, but you didn't show it how you really felt about the situation. But I see here with this five of cups, you're finally in the space where you just let me go. Like, you're crying over the shit. You're mourning over it. Like, you're finally trying to release the shit after, like, holding it back. So this has to do with a marriage. Like, maybe you found out somebody was pregnant or you could have found out that somebody... was married or that somebody got a co-worker pregnant or something like that. So with the present energy here, we have the Hierophant again. It, right here in the beginning, it was in a reverse in the past and that was in an upright. See? With the Wheel of Fortune and the um, Hierophant. But some of y'all, um, like, as far as y'all character is concerned, y'all don't normally, like, do shit the way that other people normally do. And sometimes that can get you caught up in bonds that, not really get you caught up in bonds, but that gets you caught up in situations that you don't really want to be in. But for some of y'all, y'all got that kind of attitude where you go against the grain. Okay, but with the high thing here and the present energy, so now we're back, you know, with this spiritual connection here. This also could have been somebody dealing with a karmic situation in the past, too, as well. Clarify this high thing in the present for um, Scorpio. So we're the three of one. So I see that you guys are definitely going to be moving forward and progressing with this, whatever this spiritual relationship is, or this marriage. Um, or some of you guys can be progressing forward with learning more about yourself spiritually here. I feel like you made a decision to move forward with um move forward within this higher energy here, okay? And I feel like you want to give equally in the situation or Start the one to give in the situation because before I was saying that nobody was giving in the situation. Yeah, I feel like you want to put something to an end here. Oh, you can be indecisive because of the betrayal. Okay, you can kind of be indecisive or stuck because. Of a betrayal, to you know about the present energy. You can be indecisive of whether or not you want to move forward with this connection with whoever you're dealing with because of a betrayal. Okay, well, some of you guys might want to end it. Um, we have the Knight of Pentacles here, so I see that things are definitely going to be moving a little bit slow, or you're going to be moving slow in the situation. I think it's saying to take your time. I was just going to see a tower moment, the tower is in the reverse right here. So we're saying to take your time before you make this decision because whatever decision you make right now can affect the shit out of you with this tower being in reverse and um, the judgment. Like these are major arcana. So these are like huge things that you think about doing. And it's the reason why you could be a little bit indecisive right now. So maybe you're indecisive or whether or not you want to go ahead and proceed with um, if you want to proceed with Ending a marriage or ending some type of spiritual connection that you're dealing with, but it's saying for you to take your time right now. Take things slow before you make this decision because this can affect you. So in this past, this could have been, like I said, dealing with a legal issue, a marriage. Like you could have been communicating about a divorce with the um with the hyphen, the uh eight of wands and the justice card and this will of fortune in the reverse.
So it's sad just take your time. Like you, you, you're trying to take your time before you make this decision. Okay, so the person you're thinking about dealing with, they have the four of swords. So I feel like this person is like thinking, trying to think about, you know, whatever it is that they've done. They're thinking about it. Okay, so they got a lot on their mind. Contemplating and thinking. That's all they're doing. They're in this think mode right now. And they by themselves doing it too. It's not like they do somebody else. Yeah, they thinking, um, thinking about a lot of things. Daydreaming. Thinking, wishful thinking, wishing they didn't do this, wishing, wishing upon a damn star that they didn't do certain something right here, okay? So they wishfully thinking about something, okay? Would have, should have, could us. Okay, and then we have, um, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to pick up my cards. So at the break, we have the Four of Wands and we have the Lovers card. So I feel like they're definitely thinking about, you know, a situation um, you know, a decision that they made dealing with somebody they was living with or a marriage or some type of union. Okay. So this is heavily weighing on their mind right now. Well, it's not really heavy, but this is what they're thinking about in the past. Okay, thinking about um a marriage or a union here. Okay. So I can see that right now this person is kind of like your soulmate or something like I don't know. The way that this year is going, I feel like you having difficulty with this person, but you and this person have like a deep connection. Like this connection goes beyond just sex and or whatever. Like y'all y'all have some kind of deep connection here. Could be dealing with Gemini, we have Gemini energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, um, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, and we have Taurus up here. Um, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, I said them. Taurus, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, Libra, all the fixed signs. Okay, so in their present energy, they have the King of Pentacles. So some of you guys could be dealing with a, um, who would I just do? Uh, Sagittarius, somebody that may have Sagittarius in their chart, or you may have Sagittarius in your chart. Okay, so I feel like um, yeah. So I feel like with the Sagittarius energy, I mean, with this energy, this Capricorn energy, but with this King of Cups, I mean, coins, I feel like um, card flip over. What was it? I don't know. It'll come out. I feel like this person that you're thinking about dealing with right now, they're feeling kind of confident, okay? Um, like I said, they can have some type of money, okay? They could be um, they could be good financially, um, but I feel like they, they're really confident, you know, with this team of points, like, about a situation, they're feeling really good. Yeah, but we have the temperance card here, and the temperance is in reverse, so that means that somebody is definitely not healing from a situation, okay, um, a situation that ended, or something that was too troublesome, okay, so we have the ten wands again, coming back out. So whoever this King of Coins energy is, okay, um, they're not healing from the situation. They, you know, they like faith in the situation and they definitely not healing here. They really kind of upset that the situation to end it. And I see that they're trying to balance some things out, you know, and they're trying to heal, okay? They're trying to heal the situation. They're trying to get balanced and grounded, you know, and trying to heal. Let's 
Some, the summit of a confident and hoping that things is definitely going to work out. Um, hoping things is going to work out like they still wishful thinking like how they was doing in the past, you know. Aquarius energy tools for the Capricorn, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. Tell me more about this person. Current energy. The Scorpio, please. Yeah, I feel like they want to put an end to their playaways, okay? Um, they want to put an end to whatever it was they was going, going towards passionately. I feel like this person was definitely a player in the past. Like I said, they want to put an end to this, okay? But I feel like whatever the situation is that they in or that they was in, like they want to put an end to it. But I feel like they felt they feel kind of stuck, okay, and trapped in this situation with this Queen of Pentacles. So now we have the counterpart from the Queen of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles. Like I said, if you found out that this person was married in the past, I feel like this person don't really want to be in that situation, but you know, or don't I feel like they don't really want to be in that situation, but I feel like they feel financially bound to this person that they have a connection with. Like I said, they, somebody is dealing with like a karmic situation because I see too many like karmic situation cards. Like it's definitely somebody else here. I mean, I could pick it up even though I don't see um, the third party card, you know, the surrounding things are saying that, you know, but that happened in the past, you know, and now we have present energy where you know, you still feel hurt about the shit, you know, about the truth. And, you know, you're missing this person. You know, maybe you was waiting for this person or maybe the truth just hurt you so bad that you just want to get the fuck away from them, you know. Like, that shit hurts you. And now you at this point where, you know, you face with a decision of whether or not you should take this person back or end it completely. But they telling you to take your time right now. You know, don't make any crazy moves because that can really affect you with that tower in reverse. And this person is feeling kind of confident about the situation. You know, they must always feel confident about themselves. Uh, this person got this type of, the way I'm, because I can feel this person's energy literally. Like, they just feel like, you know, like they the shit, but, you know, like, they always thinking that they got it going on, like, all the fucking time. Like, that's their kind of energy. But... I feel like they want to definitely put an end to their play ways here, you know. Um, they could have been dealing with a Leo. Their other connection could have been a Leo or a Sagittarius. But I feel like they want to put a connection or a Virgo. But I feel like they just, they feel like, you know, they were stuck in this situation with this person. Virgo energy, Scorpio, I mean, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Leo, Sagittarius, and um, Capricorn. Yeah, somebody was definitely trying to be too controlled in the situation, and he was definitely selfish, okay? <laughs> like I said, this is this person's energy. I'm really picking up that this is this person's energy. Like, this is how this person's personality is. Like, they think they the shit all the time. You know, they think they got it going on. Like, they think they got so much going on with themselves. You know, thinking that they hot shit. Always got the nicest clothes and the nicest this and the nicest that. You know, but they real selfish and they real controlling too as well. Um, yeah, real selfish, real controlling, always trying to get away with some shit, you know, always trying to get over, that's their energy, that's why they ain't healing, but they want to close the cycle, it don't, they don't want to move forward 
passionately evil or for some of them they want to close the cycle and they don't want to move forward passionately some of them feel good with where they at and they don't want to heal the situation some of them don't want to heal the situation with you and they just want to close the cycle out and not move forward passionately with you because whoever this person is they selfish you know they too controlling and they and they always going to keep trying to get over on you and in some cases, this person is trying to close out the situation that they was dealing with in the past that they felt stuck and bound to. But it's difficult for them to heal for some reason because they feel like they're still stuck to that person, even though they want to stop cheating. You know, they want to stop. They don't want to keep being in that in and out energy. They want to close that cycle out. And here they are right here. You know, forced to stand in between the two wands, you know, at the fork in the road and decide which way you're going to go, you know, left or right. It's time for you to come to your senses and make a choice, you know, with this Ace of Swords. And you need to be thinking clearly, you know, about the situation. This person needs to make a hit of a hard decision, okay, and come forward with some type of truth, okay, with the Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords is right up here, too. Yeah, they definitely need to come forward with, with the truth here. And I feel like for some of them, this shit is really stressing them out. No matter how they try to look on the outside, you know, with this overly confident attitude, you know, because this is just the outside. This ain't what's what's in. What's, what's, what's within is the shit that's coming up right now. You know, them being stressed out about the situation, you know, worried too. But they're not going to express that on the outside to nobody, you know. That's just how this person is. Because this person try to keep everything under control. They don't like when shit don't go out of control. You know, they want to keep a handle on everything. And to be honest, if this person is attached to somebody else, this person is probably, you know, stressed out and worried about how it's going to be when they're independent, you know, and separated from that situation. But some of them can be stressed out and worried about you know, that separation and independence away from you. Okay. So let's see what the best possible outcome is for you guys. So for you, we have the Queen of Wands. Okay. Um, so basically, the best possible outcome for you is just going to what it is that you want. Um, stand in your power, stand in your Queen of Wands energy. <coughs> And the Queen of Wands energy, like, don't give a fuck. You know, sit pretty. You know, and the Queen energy that you win looking good as always. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and you'll get this Ten of Pentacles, okay? Going after what it is that you want. This committed, this committed situation. Going after this commitment that you want to be in, okay? You want a committed situation, okay, with somebody? That's what you're going after. I feel like you have a lot of emotions for this person with this Queen of, um, Queen of Cups energy here. Okay, you really love this person. That's why this motherfucking shit hurts so bad up here. And you kind of indecisive mode whether or not, like, you're still trying to figure out whether or not you want to go because it's too much of a burden. You know, it's like you're dealing with it now, you know, because you don't know what you want to do, but it's time for you to take your time you know, before you progress forward with whatever decision you're going to make. Take some time and think about it. So we have Scorpio. We, yes, Cancer, Pisces. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. I mean, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries. Leo, Sag. So the best possible outcome for this person is the eight, I mean, the king of swords, okay? So they need to be making some type of moves quick, okay? Um, doing something as quickly as they can. Knight of swords.
Yeah, they need to come forward with an apology, okay, or express their love, you know, and, and they need to do that fast, you know, because you at this place where you can ready to move the fuck away, you know, so they better hurry up and make some kind of move on what they're going to do, you know, is you going to stay where you at or is you going to come forth towards me because this shit is too much, you know, I can't keep on dealing with that, you know, what is you going to do, is you going to, you know, start something new over here, take that action or what, you know, or you will keep sitting here thinking that everything is all gravy and it's fucking not. Nice. Yeah, so that they can be happy with the sun. Come forth with some type of clarity to what for you. So that you can be clarity, so that things can be successful. We got the King of Pentacles showing up again. You know? So let's see what the romance angels got to say. So we have, <laughs> this is so funny. We have honeymoon, okay? So we have enjoy the holiday bliss of time together. So like I was saying, this is this must be for this ending part because, uh, yeah, whatever y'all currently you guys are definitely like in the stalemate type of energy. Like nothing is really moving right now because there's a lot of truthful communication that need to be said or spoken between the two of you guys, and somebody definitely needs to clear out some type of past energy before they can even move forward. And that's just how that is, you know, before you can even get to this honeymoon type of stage. Maybe you guys are in a honeymoon type of stage now. Like, maybe you talk to your friends and family about them, you know what I'm saying? But it's not really, I don't know, maybe it's not really getting off the ground. But maybe once, you know, all this energy plays out and it can lead to this energy, you know, which is this person coming forward as quickly as they can. You know, and professing their love to you so that they can provide some type of clarity towards you and be happy with you so things can be successful. Then that's when I can see this honeymoon stage kicking into play, you know. Then we have the um, religious factors. And then it says, your love life is being influenced by your religious um, upbringing, the spiritual past. So like I said, this is somebody that's like a soulmate or something like that. Um, but I feel like they was dealing with like a karmic up here because look. This right here is like karmic energy in this past. So maybe you was done with the karmic energy. Or maybe they was. But they whatever they, that is, that energy they got to release. Like I said, it's definitely another person in the mix. Even though they ain't popping up like that, I can pick up the energy around it. And then somebody back here. Okay, and this is the past. And now this is the present. You know, that this somebody had to release in order to get here. You know, to the best possible outcome for you guys. So I feel like there's definitely, um, I feel like you, there's definitely spiritual, um, you have a lot of people, a lot of spirits and angels that's working on your behalf here, okay? That's why they're saying for you guys, don't to take your time and be careful in the situation, you know, and not to make a move without thinking things clearly through. Uh, but I feel like whatever this connection is, the reason why it's so difficult is because this person could be a soulmate for you. But I think I said that earlier in the thing. That could be the reason why it's so difficult. And normally with twin flame relationships and stuff like that, they be like, I'm telling you, like, too much. You know, like, you be like, damn, do I want to hold on? Should I hold on? You know, I don't know what this motherfucker is going back here. Like... What are you doing? Like, I'm, I'm over here sitting here looking crazy, you know, feeling like the fool. And here you is, you know, not, you saying that you want to do this, you saying you want to do that, but you ain't really showing no action. And I feel like this person is definitely going to be taking action soon, you know, but currently they're just sitting here pretty. They're trying to figure out which way to take, you know, this, with this um, two of wands, you know, which way do I go for real? You know, do I stay stuck where I'm at or do I go towards what I really want? But this person is going to figure out the truth on their own, you know, or what it is that they want. And which way they want to go. So then we have stay optimistic about your love life, okay? And it says... 
positive thinking and faith will bring you to, you to romance. Okay, so yeah, stay optimistic. Yeah, you know this is you know this is probably the only card that I can say that actually makes the most sense dealing with this reading here. Okay, um, and then the other spiritual message you got is whoever refreshes others will be refreshed. Proverbs eleven twenty five. Okay, so I feel like with this card, it's saying, you know, um, you know, if you help others out or whatever you've done for others or whatever the case may be, like all your good deeds that you have done is about to come back to watch for, to you tenfold, okay? So that could be what this also is about here with this um, Queen of... Um, with this Queen of Wands and this Ten of Pentacles, you know, being abundant and satisfied financially as well. Like, I feel like you're going to be good in the end, pretty much, um, basically. So, whatever, all the good that you did and everything that you did went through, you know, dealing with the situation is going to pan out for you in the end, pretty much. But, basically, right now, they're just saying, you know, take out, take your time and, you know, make the best decision for you, okay? So, that's what I have for you, Sagittarius, hopefully... Hold up, is this Sagittarius or Scorpio? I don't know. I thought it was Sag, but hopefully it's really resonating for you. And if it did, well, I'm glad that it did. And I'll see you guys in the next reading. I can't believe I'm so confused right now.